Hey there, Jeremy here with the Practical IT channel. Today we're looking at backing up a VM in Proxmox to a USB drive. So the first thing you're going to want to do is come into hardware. You're going to add the USB device. I'll take this off and show you the process. So we're going to say add USB device, use USB vendor slash ID, and then choose your storage device. I know mine's the J Micron and add. Of course, make sure your RescueZilla ISO is in the virtual optical drive. From here, we can come back to the console and start the VM. Now, the thing to point out is that this is going to be currently at USB 2.0 speed. But it does, in fact, show up. I've got this uh, preloaded with Ventoy. We will change the resolution. Give us a little more space to work with. All right. Launch back into RescueZilla. Back up. We're doing the QEMU disk. And where would you like to save the image? This is the XFAT Ventoy. And of course you create a new folder. Okay, next, next. We're gonna put it on BZIP2. And we're going to drop it down to two to speed things up a bit. And it is, in fact, running the backup. And once this is done, I will be back. All right. That was not too bad. Took one minute. We'll say next. And we'll go ahead and verify the image. That's going to be on the XFAT. We're going to browse, test squawk, and that is our proper folder. We'll say, oops, select that. And we can verify that it does in fact run and we have been able to verify our image. Now, if you had this solid state drive, this external solid state drive partitioned such that you have Ventoy on part of it and you have free space on another partition you could in fact boot from this drive and save the image to the second partition on the drive I do not currently have the drive set up for this but this is something I will be looking at for a future video all right, and when you're done, we can, of course, uh, take a look at this. There's test squawk, and we can do properties on the folder. And 
it's not showing the size, but that's all right. Um, we can jump to the terminal. Um, and we can say mount. We can say CD media Ubuntu Ventoy. And we can do uh, disk use dash H for human readable test squawk. And so that's 772 megabytes. Now the hardware over here says that the hard disk is 1,520 or 15,260 megabytes. Uh, so that was just using the bzip2 that was a good amount of compression and it saved us some space so that is what i wanted to show in this video if you learned something or found this video useful in some way please take a moment to like if you're not subscribed and only about 10 percent of my viewers are subscribed please take a moment to subscribe and help me by helping the YouTube algorithm to know that I'm here and I'm making content for all of you fine people. I'm hoping to do some more videos both with Proxmox and with VirtualBox and RescueZilla. I've had some different scenarios requested and I'm trying my best to set up and accommodate those scenarios for future videos. But until next time, this is Jeremy signing off. Thank you for watching. Happy computing and have a great day. I'll see you in the next video.